What is going on everyone? My name is Legit Fred and I make Nerf content and other videos as well. So if you're interested in that, make sure you press that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new content. Anyways, let me introduce you to the brand new Nerf Rival Nemesis MXV. I don't care about those extra letters, okay? This was 170 freaking Canadian dollars. It's the most I've spent on any Nerf blaster and any toy in general. And is it worth it? Is this thing worth the money? Well, I'm gonna answer that with my unboxing, review, and firing test video starting now. have the wallet weighing in at 170 Canadian dollars versus in the right corner the behemoth of a nerf rival blaster the nerf nemesis let the fight begin all right let's start off with a quick overview of the nerf rival nemesis this is a fully motorized blaster that runs on 6d batteries and it holds a hundred of these high impact rounds and to load this blaster up you simply open the hopper door right here Load in your high impact rounds, close it up, make sure this trigger lock is parallel so that means I'm able to hold down the red trigger. And to fire in burst mode, I can just hold down the trigger and let go time to time. Or if I want to fire rapid fire, I just hold down the trigger. Let's talk about what I like about this blaster with the pros. First of all, this gun looks absolutely amazing. I just love the paint scheme with the white on the red. Everything about this blaster just looks really badass and I really don't have any complaints about its overall design. There are multiple sling points on this blaster so if you want to, you can attach a strap to it. So we got two right at the front, one at the back and one underneath the blaster. And for those of you who like trigger locks, we also got one on the Nemesis. You can flip it downwards and that locks the trigger so you don't accidentally fire the blaster. At the front of the blaster, we have a flip up sight as well as a rear sight. So if you want to aim down the blaster, you can align both of them up. Man, I absolutely love the Nemesis shoulder stock. It is very comfortable. It has the perfect amount of curvature so that it sits perfectly in your shoulder. It doesn't dig into your shoulder or anything like that. And I would even say it's more comfortable than the N-Strike Raider stock, which I said was one of my favorite stocks out there. But this one is fantastic. When it comes to holding this blaster, we got a very huge handle as well as a large trigger well, so people with larger hands won't have to worry about their hands not being able to fit in here. It's a very comfortable handle. Very very comfortable trigger pull and everything, no complaints there. For holding the Nemesis at the front, there's no special grip here, there's nothing groundbreaking about the front end of the Nemesis, but still it's comfortable and no complaints there either. And for those of you who have any of the rival accessories, we do have a rival tactical rail so you can attach them right on top of the hopper. So at this point, I'm sure you're dying to see how the Nemesis performs. Well, let's jump into the firing test and jump straight back into the pros afterwards.
guys are enjoying the video so far and want to help me out in two seconds, make sure you press that like button and that subscribe button. It helps out more than you think. Also, down below in the description, there's a full playlist of all my past Nerf videos, so you can go check that out after this video. And also down below are links to buy Nerf Rival Gear and other Nerf Blasters. So if you buy anything using my links, I get a little bit of commission, you don't pay anything extra, and all that money I make goes straight back into this channel. So it's a win-win situation. Thank you so much, guys, and let's head back into the content. Yep, so you just saw what the Nemesis is capable of. It has a very insane high rate of fire. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure it's higher than the advertised hyperfires rate of fire of 5 darts per second. But either way, this thing can dish out a crap ton of high impact rounds per second. And you gotta be careful because even though this thing holds 100 high impact rounds, you could go through them pretty quickly. The Nemesis is very, very powerful and it's very satisfying. However, just be aware that the balls will go flying everywhere. And I was very impressed with the accuracy and precision of the Nemesis as you saw in the firing test. I managed to get a ton of these high impact rounds into the holes I was actually aiming for. It has a very tight distribution of the high impact rounds. So you don't have to worry about any of these high impact rounds just flying randomly all over the place. And that's great news when you're in a nerf war and trying to hit your opponent or for target practice. And talking about ammo capacity, the Nerf Nemesis is the largest capacity Nerf Blaster within the rival line if we compare it to the Chaos that only holds 70 high impact rounds compared to the friggin 100 impact rounds in the Nemesis. And uh, yeah, I don't think there's an easier or more efficient way to load this blaster. The loading method is absolutely fantastic. I love it. You simply open up the hopper door, like I mentioned before, load in your high impact rounds, and they're ready to be instantly shot. So if you think about it, this blaster is already more efficient when it comes to loading compared to the clip system blasters or the other rival blasters that require magazines. And if you're not convinced yet that this has one of the most efficient loading mechanisms, well let me show you the hidden potential behind the Nemesis. They advertise in the instructions that if you ever do get a jam, you can open this thing up, like so, pull out the whole hopper, and if you do get a jam, Inside the blaster you can easily just take your finger just poke it out and it's really simple And if you think about it if you can get your hands on another hopper And if you have two of these on you during a nerf war that's 200 freaking rounds you have on yourself And that is a huge advantage over anyone who doesn't have a nerf rival nemesis and last for the pros I love how the nemesis has either burst mode or rapid fire mode to fit your situation Burst mode is obviously for those times if you want to conserve your ammo, but if you just want to whoop some butt, then of course go into rapid fire mode by all means. So far in this fight, it looks like the nerf rival Nemesis is taking the lead, but hold on, let's jump into the cons of this blaster. This should be obvious before you even buy this blaster, but it's very heavy and very bulky. It weighs around six to six and a half pounds with the six D batteries in it. So if you're a little kid, it's going to be a lot of work if you're having a nerf war and running around with this. It will get really tiring. This is a legitimate nerf workout if you just want to hold the blaster out like this. It puts a lot of strain, you know, on your shoulder. And since it's so bulky, if you're having a close quarters nerf war indoors, it's going to be a little bit of a struggle to get around all those corners as well. And if you thought 170 Canadian dollars was already too much for this blaster, you haven't even considered batteries. 6D batteries, let's say that's around $10 Canadian, this blaster is already 180 Canadian dollars. And assuming in the long run that these will die out, you will have to replace them. So that's just added expenses to maintain this blaster. And if you do buy the rival rechargeable battery, that might save you some money in the long run. That's going to cost you around 55 Canadian dollars on top of the 170. So yeah, that's something to consider. I have a minor complaint now about the chambering of the high impact rounds. If you saw in the firing test, sometimes the balls would get stuck either at the back of the blaster or the front of the blaster, but all the chambering happens right here. So if the balls are stuck right here, you're not going to be able to shoot them. However, you can easily fix this by just giving the blaster a good shake and then the balls should hopefully just fall right into here. This is another thing that should be obvious when you buy this blaster. It's very loud, which means in a nerf war you won't be able to sneak up on your opponent whatsoever and you might annoy some other people living in your house since this is so freaking noisy, but that's to be expected, you know, in order to power up a blaster like this. 
Now this can be annoying if you're trying to fit the last of those 100 high impact rounds into the hopper. When it's nearly full and you're trying to squish them in there, it can get really difficult to close the hopper door. Sometimes the door will get jammed on the balls. Or you have to just try to smush them in in order to close this thing. And sometimes the balls just kind of pop out. If you're trying to reload this blaster, you have to hold this whole thing with your one hand while loading it up with high impact rounds. Over time, if you're loading like 50 to 100 of these things and you're just holding it with one hand, it puts a lot of strain on your arm and especially on your fingers right here. Like, However, if you do manage to conserve your ammo here and there and you just have to occasionally load this up, then it's not that big of a deal. But if you're one of those guys who just completely unloads the entire thing, you're not going to have fun reloading a hundred of these things all at once. And to make reloading on the go even more challenging, this entire hopper door is going to be open, so while you're bending down, picking up those high impact rounds, you gotta be careful that none of these go flying out. And like I already mentioned, if this is near full, just trying to shove the last of those high impact rounds into here will just be an extra irritant. And that's the end of the fight. The Nerf rival nemesis, is it worth it for 170 Canadian dollars? And the winner of this fight is... The Wallet. As much as I love the Nerf Rival Nemesis, as much fun as it is, I can't justify paying at least $170 plus batteries in order to have this thing. However, I am glad that I bought the Nerf Nemesis because as a YouTuber, as a creator, I can use this blast for a ton of future Nerf videos. But for the average consumer, there are other motorized blasters for half or even less than half the price of the Nemesis and are still a lot of fun to play with and still very viable for Nerf Wars. But if you do have the cash and are willing to spend it, or if you find the Nemesis on sale, this blaster is an absolute game changer. It is a lot of fun. It is very competitive for Nerf Wars. But for the stock price, no, the Nerf Nemesis is not worth it for at least 170 Canadian dollars. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I already said, I make new Nerf content every Saturday. So make sure you press that subscribe button, that like button, and that comment button to help me out. And if you don't do those things, I'll make sure I'll continue to call magazines clips because I know you guys absolutely love that.